gonna be Odin first up versus Beef Shaw. Shaman versus Shaman. Immediate ascendance for Odin. He's trying to live up to his name as Beef Shaw going in for big defenses, hoping, I think, to get their own proc of ascendance. Like the last one to Odin, does try to go for a knockback, cannot break that tether though. Another knockdown for Beef Shaw as Odin tried to see if he can get himself a bit more survivability, burying his head in the ground as it's gonna be stolen to Beef Shaw. Going in for a trinket, trying to maybe get out of there, leaping right back in as soon as Odin's back on the table. And Odin needs to get whatever survivability he can get right now. Trying to drop down a root totem. Beef Shaw maybe getting caught. Does finally get caught as they do bust out the earth and elemental. I don't know if Odin has one of his own, but definitely gotta get the earth early whenever possible. Going up for a Sunder. Perfect opportunity for him to have a proper go with his tier set. Like the last onto Beef Shaw. Maybe it'll be enough damage that it's gonna be Beef Shaw's cloak proc and Sunder of his own is gonna be able to turn up the heat himself, but also kind of lowish on health. That's gonna be Totem, able to go for a big zap. What a good grip right there with the shamans with grips, man. These shamans have grips. Death Knights move over. We got a better grip class <laughs> to, to, to a degree. <laughs> they don't grip nearly as precisely and sometimes it works, so this doesn't. But at least it got more survivability than Death Knight. Beef shit does end up taking it with that grip knocking the guy away. Oh, he does do it, does bring it back with Tootsie uh, gonna be up next. This time on the Arcane. We got ourselves a Vox on that team as well. I like that Mog, dude. This guy is just on fire, ready to go. Look at him. That actually looks so good. Wow. Short Deli on the team. We got us a Lucifer. And Tutsio versus Beef Shit. Immediately healing with a Breath Poly right after Ring of Fire together with Arcane Surge. Big damage. Beef Shot does not want to find out how much damage that's gonna do leaping in trying to go for whatever interrupts he can with tootsie disrupts but it's gonna be more missiles he's able to get around it's gonna knock him away from pillar more missiles blink it out of the breath oh <laughs> with a barrage to land that x get on the boys back oh no that is a lot of hunters on team two by the way rosie cubo and necro hunters generally do well against mages or at least for mages a hunter is a bad matchup for a mage no matter what spec so this is going to be interesting. Can Tutsio survive all of these mages? The frost plays are huge, but the arcane, we'll see if they can make a, maybe make that work. I wonder if frost would have been better against this mage. There's going to be big damage to Rosie as Rosie turned up the heat with the own massive damage, huge kill shots from such a distance. Tutsio can really outrage these guys whatsoever. He's even getting to melee with them, but it doesn't matter with the melee range. They still got a lot of output. Arcanosphere, does he get to land it? I hope it to maybe get it. Does get it. Kill shots to a through Tutsio. Look at to get himself some distance, but can't even with the RK knock back, blink it away. That range though. Astutio, polymorph. That's a big old pet. Oh my god. <laughs> Trying to see if he can knock it through. Maybe Ring of Frost. It is eventually going to get frozen, hopefully. Shifting power should be able to maybe break it out. Looks like maybe not. Tutsio got himself a little bit of a sh shielding. But maybe looking at an ice block in the near future. Camo by Rosie. Stun onto Tootsie. Is going to go for the block. He needs to go for the block right now. That's going to put him in a weird spot. Blocking this early. You need to take out Rosie as soon as possible. Blast him out to smithereens. Is going to go for a breath. Setting up a big arcane surge. Potentially lots of damage. Rosie does he have an answer for this one. Stun from a distance. Could be a blink. Tutsio. I think hoping to maybe get in there. Arcane orb does connect. Oh, but the turtle shell stops a lot of the damage. That is an archimage with a lot of power still coursing through their veins. Big flank attack to follow. Rosie taking a bit of the fire damage. Gonna take quite a number though. It's gonna be shifting power for Tutsi. Does not have a block. You have to play around it. Arcanosphere is gonna do a number onto Rosie. It's gonna end up kind of reversing a lot of that healing from the manic benedict but a kill shot could be the end of you all the time last second oh my god that is a lot of damage kill shot with an explosive i don't really know what you can do would you have a sliver of health like that there's no way you can alter time that that is so rough that is a rough one rosie played that one very very well though great damage great output continuing the constant pressure once you get the block out of the mage it is really difficult to recover and he kept the pressure on he wasn't trying to play super defensive he was pressing on the advantage whenever he had it box is going to be out in the open has the no eyes oh why one of the eyes is available that's going to be a binding shot immediately maybe look at a trinket no just got to set it in cap rosie with a trinket really really early stun into box so this is going to be an opportunity if you can close the gap with alexi rosie does not have an answer for this one unless maybe you could pre-trap something oh there goes the freezing trap the man is just a perpetual motion machine just stuck the rolling oh my goodness trying to see if you can close the gap dragon kicking over leg sweep 
finally able to have a go that's going to be a disarm kanaga for fist of fury rosie is going to charge out leap it back in but getting caught in the fist of fury might be in the bad spot got him some survival defense to reduce the damage taken maybe has himself a cloak to back him up a little bit here box does have a karma in case he needs to use it in cap before rosie gets behind the pillar it's going to be an explosive karma there it goes it's going to be freeze the trap able to break out of it fairly quickly rosie needs to find a way to break away from the guy bonding shot gives you quite a bit of a distance just throwing an advantage damage even though you have a karma on you that is gonna break in manic betters though does not have a self heal but vox is looking for that full recovery rosie maybe can back away send the pet into a away from combat maybe catch a camo really quickly catching the camo with a stun right after not a lot you could really do unless you got some kind of cc for Vox in cap i think it just might be over the monk may have you turtle shell last second for rosie does not want to go down mad explosive bunch of box wait oh ho, ho, ho. that turned around that is so good but it gets short and deadly though i think it's over right base storm nothing can stop that's it yeah oh man that's rough that's such a good job though that turnaround was great oh that was awesome not only were you able to topple an arc image which usually do a lot of damage and give people a lot of trouble well done there press the advantage got the block kept the pressure rolling but then i guess the monk you got yourself the big explosive turn in this round catch the kill shot when you needed it well done good survivability playing until the name survival hunter short and deadly got himself a little bit of damage picked up a lot of healing though second wind Bane, the dividends hot may have to get in and just rotate between bop as well as bubble unless short somehow some way ended up talenting into a uh, shattering throw not a lot of reasons to talent into it in duels just because you're gonna gonna go against a lot of classes oh reflect that a stun bubble out of hot does not have a uh shatter but was able to reverse his stub back into the pallet and hot maybe in a bit of a trouble right now maybe in a bit of a hot seat is he going in there just striking big stun big ass kid goes in just a bloody mess it looks so perfect with kid bo going to be up next as a beastmaster hunter this time switching around specs a lot i like it though the survival i think was probably some of the strongest survival i've seen just out of left field but lasted a feral earlier gonna be short with the parry full sharp blades available kidbo just trying to see if he can get himself maybe some kind of cc onto short is going to be reflect trying to see if he can avoid a freezing trap that's still a lot of deadly short and deadly is taken though that's a lot of damage this man is just suffering stun right after has himself a trinket stun onto kidbo cannot really go for big damage oh it looks like maybe borrowed hell will battle master trinket maybe a rallying cry all that borrowed health I yeah it looks like it is a rallying cry and everything is dissipated at the last second freezing trap on the lucifer is able to break out of it with a trinket as cute bow trying to get himself a little bit of range here trying to create a bit of a gap from pally while the crusade wings are rolling in has a turtle mainly to use it in order to give himself a little bit of that survivability try to slow down lucifer finally able to get a proper slow finally able to get himself a bit of that distance but lucifer whenever he goes in for wake of ashes through the wall that's gonna hurt those hammers hurt so much that is a full death shotgun but you gotta play defense for a good bit cute bow otherwise you're just gonna be a cute uh corpse wait hammer still hanging over your head doesn't do a lot of damage faint death is huge but a stun got yourself a little bit of health maybe it'll be enough i don't really know oh scatter oh every hammer just looks so painful oh it could be really bad you're so low on health oh, i don't know if you live this oh how you have no hell oh kill shot oh that's a ballsy one that's a ballsy kill shot i like what you were trying to do i think we're trying to see if you can kill it if only that kill shot just did the fattest crit ever oh no no what it had to be three hunters why i i i'm not the one who put the group together but i'll allow it oh no this could be either really really good or really bad scatter for the stone which is perfect has a trick and available hammer hanging over the hunter's head blessing of protection if you can just remove it with a trank shot you'll be golden but stay in the turtle shell trying to see if you can deny as much damage as possible but if you can deny the basic protection of full value, you're going to be in a great, great spot. Definitely to land some traps around the pillar that Lucifer is at. Because if you can get him in a freezing trap, put him out in the open, get a good angle, put a charge trap under him. Perfect. Exactly what you need. A rapid fire. You got to put pressure onto Lucifer. Not enough to get him in a kill zone, but, base, but real, real close. Scatter? I think it might be over. If you time it right blind for the pallet, it gives him at least an opportunity to throw it down the flashback. Necker, if you get himself an angle. You might be good, 
sitting down for food or at least trying to see if you can sit down for whatever kind of recovery maybe just mana knocking him out in the open we're just gonna put him in a bad spot slow right after kill shot is all you need the guy going for lay on hands that's not really gonna give you that much healing unless you have a stun and full crusade i think you're just gonna have to go for damage shield of vengeance is all you got trinket i think lucifer is gonna have to commit damage at some point he's just not in a great spot scatter as a hammer hanging over necro's head do you have a stun the death shocker rapid fire silence right after oh, i think it's so oh, oh, oh. necro had to play it a little bit longer game but did end up committing towards the end though well done man these snipers man these hunters are doing work these kill shots man are so good oh man that's good i love that that's so good